Welcome. In a previous video, I upgraded the hard drive in this late 2012 Mac Mini with the solid state hard drive, and I'll put a link in the description to that video. In this video, I'm going to go over upgrading the RAM to 16 gigabytes. So I'll put a link in the description to the RAM I'm using on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a super easy upgrade for some people, but others that aren't as comfortable, hopefully I'll cover things to make this a little bit more comfortable for you. So I'm in the Mac interface. If I go to the Apple menu here and go to About This Mac, we can see here it says memory is 16 gigabytes. So I already have 16 gigabytes in here, but I can still demonstrate upgrading this. But what you want to do is go down here to System Report, and then on the left here, go to Memory, and you'll see it says Bank 0 and Bank 1. So you have two banks of memory, and I think this came with two gigabytes in each of these. So you have two gigabytes here and two gigabytes here. Now you can just upgrade one, to say a four or eight gigabytes, so that would give you six or 10 gigabytes, but it's best to install this in pairs so you could take advantage of the dual channel architecture so it can access these in parallel and make it faster if you use a pair. So to get the absolute best performance, you want to upgrade these in a matching pair. So you want either two two gig modules, two four gig or two eight gig. So if you're upgrading to 16 gigabytes, you would want to take out both of these modules, no matter what they are, unless one was already an eight gig, and then replace both of them. So I'll close this down, I'll shut down the computer, then we'll upgrade the RAM. Okay, so I have the Mac Mini on a bench here. I want to first unplug everything from it. This power cord can be really sticky. I just wiggled it ever so slightly. Then if we go to the back side here, we'll see there are some dots here. Like so. So we have the black dot is closed and the white one is open. So to open this, you'll put your thumbs in these two little indents and you'll rotate it counterclockwise, like so. And now this will fall off of here, like so. And we're in the computer. Okay, so here we have the two RAM modules. Before we take these out, we want to ground ourselves to the case. You can use a grounding strap if you have something like that. And then to remove this, you want to take these two tabs here and pry them out just a little bit until it pops out of place, like so. Then we can pull the RAM out. We'll do the same thing to the bottom. Now the bottom will have to pass through the top too, so you may have to pull those back a little bit. Okay, at the bottom. I'm grabbing this with my right hand and then I'm pressing these in with my left. There we go. And now we have the two RAM modules out. So now to install them back in, again, I'm grounding myself to the case and you almost can't do this without grounding yourself. You have to touch that. And I'll place it in the bottom slot. So I'm actually going to route this between the two clips. And I have it in the bottom there. And I like to press it in and I like to give it just a little bit of a wiggle to make sure it's seated. And then I'll press it down on both sides, like so. I'll do the same to the top. Okay, press it down, it's locked in place. So while you're in here, you could take a can of air and clean this fan out. You'd probably want to hold the fan so it doesn't rotate too fast. And then you can blow that dust out if you want. We'll take this top, we'll orient this the same. You want to line the white dot up here. Okay, and this should lay flat and even all the way around. Then take our thumbs and we'll just rotate this to the right and you'll feel it kind of click into place. So once you do that, you plug it in and we'll check to make sure the RAM is installed. Okay, so the computer booted up. I'll go to about this Mac and I'll check to see it says 16 gigabytes. Now if you're expecting this to say 16 gigabytes and it says eight gigabytes or something, then definitely go down into system report and click on memory and you can see which bank isn't showing up. And actually I can't tell you which one is zero or one, but you'll see one of these won't be populated. And if that's the case, you want to turn it off, redo the procedure, and wiggle it a little bit and make sure it's fitted in there. Other troubleshooting you can do is if your computer isn't booting up at all, remove one of the RAM cards and then remove the other and you know, swap them out. And you could put one in at a time, uh, try one in each slot, and then figure out where you're having the problem. You could have a bad card, it might not be seated properly. It's hard to predict exactly what can go wrong, but this should be pretty straightforward, especially if you're using name brand RAM. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.